This is First Alert Weather. Well, we're taking a look here at our storm tracker after what has been a very wet day here across northeast Kansas. Definitely one of the wettest we've seen here over the last several months and uh, definitely bringing some beneficial rainfall to the area, but it may be a little too much too fast here as we are finally getting a bit of a break now, but we'll likely see the redevelopment of some showers and storms here in those overnight hours. You can see in these green boxes, we do have flood watches in effect for some of our southern counties where we we did see a little bit more rain relative to the rest of the area, but I think we're all going to get uh, some additional opportunities here over the next two days for uh, even more rainfall and possibly a couple of stronger storms. But we'll take a closer look here at our area where again we can see uh, that band that's been affecting us for most of the day here uh, moving out of the area and we'll see again a little bit of redevelopment later on. Uh, we do have uh, a little bit of some totals here from our uh, uh, stations across the region about an inch and a half in Topeka, uh, 2.75 in Emporia today. Uh, so we're almost getting there to three. We may even get to three before the night is done. If we see that rain redevelop a little bit sooner rather than later, a little over an inch in Manhattan and uh, very little out in Concordia and Marysville. The far northwestern reaches of our area were sort of the uh, uh, safe spot today from seeing as much rainfall, but everyone still managed to pick up at least a little bit. And for that, we are thankful to help alleviate those drought conditions, sort of get us uh, back in the running for normal amounts of rainfall up to this point in the fall season. But we will see additional rainfall again here for Sunday and also Monday as well. Those chances are still pretty high, and I think we could see some stronger storms mixed in there with uh, some of the showers that we have seen today. Here's a look at that risk for tomorrow here. It's further west. Uh, again, this has been down rated since two days ago from a slight risk to only a one out of five marginal and it does only encompass some of our further westernmost uh, areas here but still we will be watching to see if some of those storms do manage to get a little bit on the stronger side but certainly not a guarantee uh, for many parts of the region supercast showing us up to that point here for the rest of the night we are expecting again a little bit of redevelopment of that rain here into sunday morning i think is when we'll start to see that move out and most of sunday itself is looking to to be dry, but that will allow for some further storm development, maybe a little more isolated in the evening hours. Again, we'll be watching further out west for the stronger development there. And then heading into Monday, it looks like we'll be waking up once again to some more rain in the area and then potentially later that evening some storms, but this time off to our south and east here. That's what it looks like for Monday centered uh, more so into parts of Missouri rather than Kansas. But for tonight, we'll still see that rain here uh, 60 degrees or so as that should redevelop around three or 4 a.m. Still probably showers, more storms for tomorrow, especially in the afternoon. And it looks like Monday will show us more of the same here before things do dry out by 